We can say that these techniques are the most representative feature of Thai massage. Some of them are gentle and may be applied even to the elderly. However, some of them are unsuitable for older clients. Some techniques should never be applied to those who suffer from osteoarthritis of the hip. If applied properly, these techniques can be effective not only for disorders of the legs, but also for lower back pain and sciatica. During their application, the therapist should respect the receiver's flexibility and boundaries. Clearly, you should never push the body beyond its limits. Stabilize the receiver's lower leg between your thighs. Using your fingers, try to separate the heads of the gastrocnemius muscle. Then, place one palm on the receiver's patella. Using your other hand, knead the gastrocnemius muscle. Maintaining the former leg lock, mobilize the receiver's thigh. Cover the entire thigh, as this technique is a sort of warm-up for the next steps. Interlock your fingers and try to lift the quadriceps muscle. Then, using your thumbs, apply pressure on the first inner and first outer sen lines. Also, perform circular massage, trying to separate the quadriceps muscle from the surrounding tissues. Now, release the previous leg lock. Bend the receiver's leg and stabilize it with your knee. Then, start walking with your palms on the receiver's thighs. Respect the flexibility level of the receiver's body. Also, do butterfly walking with your palms on the bent leg. You can also press the thigh with your foot. Work with the transverse arch of the foot. You can also support the bent leg on a pillow if the receiver is not very flexible. Release the previous lock and sit between the receiver's legs. Start pressing the adductors with your feet. Work slowly and deeply. Work with the transverse arch of the foot. Now, lock the receiver's foot in your knee joint. Grasp her heel and other leg and repeat the previous foot presses with one foot. Simultaneously, pull the other leg of the receiver. You can also do presses with your toes. Now, bring the receiver's leg in front of your lower legs and work on the quadriceps muscle. This is a good position for deep tissue work. Then, punch gently the quadriceps muscle.
place the receiver's leg on your shoulder and do palm presses on the posterior thigh muscles. You can also work with your thumbs. Now, place one hand on the posterior thigh muscles and the other hand on the quadriceps muscle and squeeze the leg by moving your hands at opposite directions. Also, rotate the leg. Place the receiver's foot on the upper part of your quadriceps muscle and start stretching gently her adductors. Always respect the flexibility level of the receiver's body. Now sit down, grasp the receiver's foot and press the posterior thigh muscles with your foot. Then, place your toes under the receiver's gluteus muscle. Grasp your foot and fall back. This technique is indicated for the decompression of the hip joint. Repeat two to three times. Flex the receiver's knee inwards and do palm presses on the iliotibial band. From this position, you can also stretch the abductors, do deep tissue work and perform the typical tie tapping technique known as tie slap. Place the receiver's lower leg on your thigh and stretch the anterior muscles of the lower leg. Place one hand on the receiver's shoulder and one hand on her knee in order to apply this spinal twist. In order to relax the leg, place your hands under the knee joint and shake it gently. Now we will see the techniques that involve both legs. Grasp the receiver's feet and shake them gently, then pull them. Then mobilize the receiver's legs with slow and gentle circular movements. Then pull the legs again and rotate the legs in order to relax the pelvis. Hit gently the receiver posterior thigh muscles with your foot. Bend the receiver's leg and place it above the knee joint. This creates a lock. 
Now, press the posterior thigh muscles with your palms. And with your fist, and simultaneously press the other leg towards the receiver's head. Also, do thumb presses. Then, place your hand on the sacrum and push the receiver backwards. Then, bring your leg in front of the receiver's leg in order to stabilize this lock perfectly and press gently her foot with your elbow. You can also press the six points on the feet. Refer to the feet section for these points. Then release the lock and stabilize the receiver's legs on your quadriceps muscle. Grasp her arms and lift her torso. Repeat two to three times as she exhales. Now, repeat the previous technique, only this time with crossed legs. Place her legs under your knees. Repeat two to three times as she exhales. Then, stabilize the receiver's feet on your patella and grasp her knees. When she breathes out, push her legs towards her chest. Then, bring your knees forwards alternatively in order to relax the pelvis. And repeat. Now, interlock your fingers and grasp the receiver's thighs and lift her torso from the ground. Bring the receiver back to the ground gently. Then, bring your feet next to the receiver's hip joints and bring your feet together in front of your knees and push them downwards. Then release this lock and bring the receiver back to the original supine position. Thus send the leg techniques. Thank you for watching. The next section, that is, techniques for the abdomen and the thoracic cavity, includes far more gentle techniques.